Unit 2. Companies. Track 17. I am pleased to say the parent company has continued its excellent performance. We are changing, growing and doing well at a difficult time for the industry. Turnover was 57.2 million euros, an increase of 15% on last year, and net profit rose by 5% to 6.4 million euros. We are a highly competitive business. We have increased our market share to 20%. Consequently, our share price has risen and is now at an all-time high of 9.6 euros. Increased production and strong demand have had a positive effect on our cash flow, so we are able to finance a number of new projects. We have successfully moved to our new head office in central London. We are now planning to start full production at the recently opened Spanish subsidiary in October. Finally, thanks once again to our loyal and dedicated workforce. Our employees will always be our most valuable asset. Unit 2. Companies. Track 18. Can you tell us about your company? Nature's Way Foods is a food manufacturing company based on the south coast of England uh, and we put chilled product, uh, a majority of which is lettuce uh, and fruit, into various types of packaging for the major retailers and various food service companies in the UK. Examples of retailers uh, would be Tesco's, Morrison's and Waitrose. And in terms of food service companies, our, our biggest customer is McDonald's, which I'm sure most of you will be familiar with. Unit 2. Companies. Track 19. What are the reasons for the company's success? There are various reasons for the company's success. I think one of the major ones is the, the markets in which we operate. There are some what we call big marketing themes, which are health, convenience, sustainability and indulgence. We think the products we produce in both leaf and fruit fit a lot of those themes. So a majority of the UK population have a desire to eat healthy products. Uh, they tend to be what we call time poor i.e. they haven't got much time in their lives for creating great food. So they want to be able to buy a convenient product of good, healthy food. There is also a theme for sustainability. Uh, so people want to feel like they are contributing towards a sustainable world. And a lot of our product uh, has a fairly low level of what we call food miles and therefore is fairly sustainable. Uh, some of our products also have a fairly indulgent feel. So the UK population uh, has a habit of wanting to be indulgent at certain times. So they might diet on a Monday to Friday, but when it gets to Friday night, they will have several pieces of cake <laughs> and maybe a few drinks. I think the other reason for our success is the way we run our business. We are a high volume business, so we're producing uh, hundreds of millions of units. So we need to be very efficient in the way we produce them. So we've invested heavily as a business in systems and process to make sure we are very efficient in the manner in which we produce the products for our customers. Unit 2. Companies. Track 20. When running a company, what have you enjoyed most and least? I think most is achieving what you set out to achieve. So when you're running a company, uh, one of your key objectives or key roles is to set, set the strategy for the company and then make sure the building blocks are in place to achieve that strategy. And that I find very satisfying, to set a clear goal for the business 
and then watch the business uh, and help the business go and achieve that goal. I think the other thing which I find uh, very satisfying is creating a team ethic uh, and watching the people grow and watching people develop and work towards the goals that you set as a business and work as a team and get enjoyment out of that and develop as people and as business people within the organisation. And least? I think least is probably the relentlessness of the role as a chief executive. You're never actually off duty. And a business like ours, which is a food manufacturing company, it's running 364 days a year. So there's always something to be responsible for uh, and something that's happening within your organisation. So I think that can be quite tiring. And also, uh, the other thing that sometimes uh, uh, can be wearing is it is a, quite a lonely life. You know, you have to make decisions. Sometimes you can't talk to other people about them uh, and they have to be your decision. Unit 2. Companies. Track 21. What lessons have you learned from the companies you've worked for? I've learned a lot of lessons from the companies I've worked for. I think the key thing is that you have to make sure your people in the organisation are engaged with the organisation and have a clear understanding of what that organisation is trying to achieve. If you can get that clarity of direction and um, enthusiasm from the people within the organisation, uh, then that will help move the business forward in itself. Unit 2. Companies. Track 22. Good morning, everyone. Thanks for coming to my presentation. My name's Robert Pullen. I'm the Director of Human Resources at DCV Fashions. My purpose today is to talk to you about our company. You can then decide if you'd like to work for us in the future. First, I'll give you some basic information about DCV Fashions. After that, I'll explain why we've been so successful in the fashion industry. Next, I'll tell you about our mission statement. This describes what we're all about, why we're in business. And finally, I'll explain how we communicate with people through our advertising and promotion. Unit 2. Companies. Track 23. OK, some basic facts. We were founded in Florence in 1990. That's where we're currently based. Since then, we've expanded at a very fast rate and established our brand worldwide. We make and sell clothing and fashion accessories for the 18 to 30 age group. Please take a look at the chart. It shows our financial performance over a five-year period. As you can see, last year our turnover was over 300 million euros and our net profit approximately 28 million. What's the key to our success? Well, I'd say there are three reasons we've grown so rapidly. We have a very talented team of young designers. Our distribution system is first class and we're very creative when advertising and promoting our products. Moving on now to our mission. It's to be a dynamic company, constantly changing, but always leading fashion. Fun, youth, action, energy. This is what our brand is all about. Finally, a word about our advertising and promotion. DCV advertises on all the Italian TV networks, as well as those in other major European markets. It sponsors fashion shows, and its products are endorsed by many celebrities in the world of music and sport. Well, I hope you'll be interested to learn more about our company. Thanks very much for listening to my presentation. Are there any questions? Unit 2. Companies. Track 24. It's true our results haven't been good. Our pre-tax profits have fallen once again. It's all very worrying. Well, we know one of the reasons. 
Our two main competitors have been cutting their prices, so our prices are beginning to look rather high. They've also been increasing their advertising spend to get a bigger market share. But it doesn't explain everything, does it? How do you see things, Donna? It's not a crisis, Paolo, but we do need to make changes as fast as possible. The way I see it, we don't offer a very wide range of flavors. That's not helping us. And our packaging isn't very exciting. It gives the wrong impression. It could be the reason why our classic product isn't selling as well as it used to. Okay, so what do we need? More products and more outlets. We must reach more than the big supermarkets and our own ice cream stores. Also, it'd be a good idea to upgrade our equipment and storage facilities. Maybe our fleet of trucks as well. They're terribly out of date. Hmm. Plenty to think about there, Donna. How about you, Bill? Well, I'd say innovation is the key. We need more new products, exciting new products people will want to buy. Don't forget, people are health conscious these days. So how about bringing out some fat-free flavors? 100% fat-free, made from natural ingredients, no additives? Another thing, Paolo, we need to be more green to do more for the environment. You know, recycle our containers, take the fat out of our waste products, then give the pure water to local communities, that sort of thing. Maybe donate money to charities like a heart or cancer foundation. That'd improve our image for sure. Leave a like and subscribe.